It's just like a massive, it's just massive. Like physically massive, but also having girls at Diet Fest is a massive stepping stone for women in free ride. I'm Vera Sandler and I'm a free ride mountain biker. I kind of had no expectations coming here to Dark Fest because obviously I haven't seen the scale of it in person. And when you see something on video and it looks big, you know it's going to be massive in real life. So I kind of just came here, we walked the course with Sam Reynolds like the night that we got here um, and it was ridiculous. It absolutely blew my mind the size of, just the size of the lips, the size of everything there. It's just, it's like what we ride back home but just blown up. 10, more than 10 times actually. When we, um, when we first started building this course, I think it was about five years ago, it really kind of was, and actually still is, the biggest set of jumps ever made. And um, it was actually after seeing the girls at Audi 9s last year that I'd never seen them have a proper platform to show what they can really do. So I'd never seen what, what they can actually do. And I think even they didn't know what they could do. And uh, that was kind of the idea to give them this platform and then really push everything forwards and, and give them a chance. Casey's like the fairy godmother, isn't she? She's just super nice, friendly to everyone. Robin um, is like a little chihuahua, <laughs> goes out, gets the bit between her teeth. Hannah's like nice laid back style, seems like a nice chilled person. Chelsea Sender is just Chelsea Sender, you know, she gets up in the morning, she just wants to get to the top of the hill as quick as she can and send it and that's all she wants to do. Vero, I don't know, she's just a bit of a nutter, isn't she? <laughs> On and off the course, which is wicked. CJ just loves it, doesn't she? Straight on the bike, always the first one kitted up. She's the uh, the original Dark Fest lady and uh, yeah, it was cool to see her back. So after, like, after we walked the course and stuff, um, we had a couple of days building this house end line and getting it running for everyone, um, which was really cool. The, like me and the girls and, it, and the guys as well had something to warm up on before hitting all the big jumps. Um, so we had loads of fun messing around on, on the house end line, hitting the step up, trying some tricks. Um, and when it came to hit the big stuff, the step up was first. Um, and it was really cool actually, what hyped me up so much was um, all the girls were together and we all decided to drop in and just like hit the step up one bang without doing any run-ins or anything. Committed to it and just sent it, which is really cool. And that kind of started the, the whole sending the darkness jumps off on such a cool vibe. Everyone was sending it to be fair. Like, it was cool actually because it was such an alien thing to all of us girls. Um, we had the support of the guys, which was amazing. Um, they were like super supportive and towing us into the jumps, giving us advice on how to hit them, um, even tiny things down to when the air is denser and like when you carry more speed into the jumps. Yeah. Surprisingly mellow, like when you're going, you're just like, all right, you got it. Go <laughs> blast. It felt so nice. Yeah, that was badass. <laughs> I found it, but slower. Oh, 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 oh my god. These guys are crazy. <laughs> um, everyone's buzzing that they just hit the step up. Um, so it set like a really cool tone for the week and kind of like a really cool supportive atmosphere um, amongst the girls and everyone else, um, which was really sick. I'm going to be bold soon anyway. I've got mad just even there like. <laughs> I think it's really cool that women in freeride are getting in the limelight more now, getting more recognition. Um, and it's super important for younger women coming into the sport or just women who are new to it, who want to get amongst it. Um, it's really important to see us representing the sport. We have these social media platforms now and it's so easy for kids to go online and see their heroes and learn from their heroes and then the progression curve is just gonna skyrocket as, it, as we're seeing already just because it's so accessible and content is so accessible and I think when Vision came out and there's a bunch of women shredding and showing that 
you know, we can do big jumps and tricks too. And I think especially from my side as a racer that was able to kind of dip in that area, I think it kind of, a lot of people are like, oh, she can do it, like, I can do it. Like, I think, you know, it's, it wasn't normal for me to do that. And it was cool to dip into that world and then watch from, <laughs> from afar how far it's actually, actually gone. For like younger riders or, or any riders, I think the power of media and social media is that girls see other girls doing cool things and they like believe, they see it's possible for them they believe it whereas like i mean before social media I, well i've always just ridden with boys anyway and and try to kind of imitate what they're doing but sometimes you do have doubts you know you see they're really strong they're muscling their bike around and sometimes you like doubt that you can do what they're doing so the power of media is massive in the progression of women's free ride, I think, because um, it just shows women watching that it's possible and that they can get amongst it and they can do the same thing. to get used to the feeling of insanely big air. <laughs> but it's sick. The community vibe with an event like this is like so, so sick and something that's a massive part of it for me um, because it's like such a supportive scene and everyone like helps each other, hypes each other up and helps, helps each other progress, which I think is like so important to progressing the sport of women's freeride. Die fest is wild. <laughs> you look at the whole course and T to B's and you think about each individual jump and how scary each one is. So to piece together a whole run is pretty gnarly. But yeah, when they believe in it and you kind of tick them off one by one, like each time you take off a new jump, you're like, okay, like this is this is pretty possible. I got like, I got blue hair. I got a new tattoo. Um, good vibes and good energy with the crew. So like, I don't think you could ask for more. Events like Audi 9s and Dark Fest have invited the girls in and they've just taken the opportunity and taken it to a level that I don't think 
even they expected, um, which is insanely sick. And from my perspective, is insanely inspiring to see them just out there shredding. Yes, that's pretty much it for Darkfest 2022. Um, I know there's a lot more we can do, uh, not just for the girls, for the boys as well, so I can't wait. Hopefully we can do it all again next year, have the girls back, maybe have a few more, and uh, yeah, I know that they want to come back and really push and see what they can do as well. This type of event as well, I want to see more of, like jump jams, where um, women and men all ride together, kind of like similar to on the last segment of the previous Vision movie. Um, that was so cool, we just had like, a really cool group of guys and girls all shredding together, hitting jumps, doing trains, like trying tricks, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's the kind of thing I want to see more of and want to be more of a part of. So um, whether it's huge jumps like this or like just really cool jump lines anywhere. Um, and there's more of it happening now, which is sick, but I'd love to run on myself one day, um, have like a jump line locally to me and then get all kinds of different riders from all over the world to come and shred and just like enjoy the hype. Oh, 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 oh,